Welcome to Fruity Diets. Today we will look at essential oils. And, in this video we will discuss on 4 best antibacterial essential oils. Most prescription medicines are designed after essential oils produced from plants, which is why, if possible, I recommend going with a natural method first. That's why, when it comes to fighting bacteria, nothing beats a combination of healthy foods and antibacterial essential oils. The reason for this is that when we introduce synthetics into our bodies, our bodies are unable to handle these foreign chemicals. Even if the medication solves one condition, it is likely to create another. It has the potential to disrupt our hormones, endocrine system, brain function, and other bodily functions. Of course you should educate yourself before trying any substance, synthetic or natural, but in most circumstances, the natural approach is the most beneficial, especially in the long run. Synthetics produce concerns with brain functionality by impairing cognitive function and memory, according to a study published in Neuropharmacology. Another concern is that antibiotics provided by doctors can develop bacteria resistant to them. To put it another way, synthetic antibiotics often kill the good bacteria that live in our bodies, which we need to stay healthy. At the same time, many antibiotics fail to kill bacteria because the infection you're trying to treat becomes resistant to the treatment as a result of its widespread use. Antibacterial excess is perfectly exemplified by hand sanitizers. That's why antibacterial soap and prescription medications should be avoided in favor of these antibacterial essential oils. Essential oils have been used to treat a variety of ailments for ages, from anxiety and sadness to arthritis and allergies, so the idea of utilizing them to combat infection is not new. They've been used to fight everything from pathogenic bacteria and viruses to fungus. Finally, evidence demonstrates that antibacterial essential oils can kill germs without making them resistant, making them excellent antibacterial and antimicrobial resources. 1. Cinnamon Oil Cinnamon oil was tested against planktonic E. faecalis in a root canal operation, according to studies published in the Journal of Contemporary Dental Practice. After 7 and 14 days of treatment, the cinnamon essential oil was found to be effective in preventing bacterial development, making it a natural option. Cinnamomum xylanicum essential oil is an efficient antibacterial agent against planktonic and biofilm E. faecalis and has the potential to be a fantastic antimicrobial agent in root canal treatment, as researchers found. 2. Thyme oil. Thyme oil has antibacterial properties. The University of Tennessee's Department of Food Science and Technology did research to discover how effective it was against germs present in milk and salmonella. Droplets of thyme essential oil with the GRA designation, generally recognized as safe, were placed on the bacteria, just like the cinnamon essential oil. The findings suggests that utilizing thyme oil as an antimicrobial preservative for food could be an excellent way to protect our bodies against bacteria, which is a better option than the traditional chemical approach. 3. Oregano Oil Oregano oil and silver nanoparticles, often known as colloidal silver, have been proven in studies to have significant antibacterial activity against drug-resistant bacterial pathogens. The results demonstrated that both individual and combined treatments reduced cell density, allowing antimicrobial activity to emerge through cell disruption. Overall, our findings suggest that oregano essential oil may be a viable alternative for infection control. 4. Tea tree oil. Tea tree oil is a fantastic way to battle microorganisms on the skin. This oil was found to be beneficial against E. coli and staph infections when coupled with eucalyptus, which is one of my recommendations for fighting infections prevalent in chest colds, according to research from India. The investigations found that there was an immediate effect after application, followed by a slow release effect over a 24 hour period. This means that while there is an initial cellular response when the oils are used, they appear to continue operating within the body, making it an excellent antibacterial alternative. Click the link above to see the benefits of using these antibacterial essential oils. If you appreciate this type of content please subscribe to this channel and tap the little bell icon so you would be notified when I post a new video.